Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing how to use the flow variables. And you see here, this is a basic business rule which I have written and I will duplicate or replicate this business rule as it is in the flow. So that will be a real good stuff for you. So in this script, I have taken this variable in um, client recording in incident table and what I am doing at last in list I am printing all the respective incidents of one user separated by semicolon in this particular field of the table is you list user incident okay so let me demonstrate you this is uh, uh, the table click on new select the user let's say Fred Ludi as soon as I save it you will see the result here all these are the incidents which are assigned to this user so the same we are doing in this script okay so now let's go to the flow designer this is my flow designer which I have created and here you see I have used flow variable so how to add a flow variable in your flow just go here and click on flow variables you can add as many as you want right now I have used LL this is my flow variable and it is of type string okay so first of all let's see the trigger definition so this is the trigger definition it is triggering whenever something is created or updated in this table the same table and the user is not empty okay so user must not be empty that's what we have done okay and let me run it on every update done so now let's discuss the actions one by one so the very first one is this one let's click on it so here we are looking up for all the incident records we are assigned to is you see here the user which is affected the user which is changed from the trigger okay the same thing and active is true means incident is true so from step one we have all those incidents the bundle of those incidents so now we are traversing each of every incident one by one you see here we are using for each the same what we are using here as a loop okay and in step 3 we are setting the flow variable how we are setting click on it you see here flow variable and then the number of the incident for each record and then we are using semicolon okay so this is how we set the flow variable and then we are finally in the step 4 updating the record of this table that is list incident users so you see here incident assigned this is the name of the field is equal to flow variable the flow variable which we have captured here okay which we have assigned here properly so this is how the complete thing is working so you see here under step 2 step 3 is inside step 2 the same we have here under while we are assigning the variable like this and this is happening in the loop and finally we are updating the record so that's what we are doing here we have started the loop and then in that loop we are just setting the variable and finally in step 4 we are updating the record of that table so this is how we use the flow variable in future videos we have many such examples which will be really helpful for you so guys stay tuned subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and colleagues so that we will grow and it will reach to maximum. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.